You notice the weather outside? Yeah, it's freezing cold outside and it's only gonna get colder. That's why Nish TV's coming to you from inside the warm hearted Nish TV studio. So, we got an exciting new episode for you today. We were at the Aboriginal Country Talent Show last night. And we got an exclusive interview with some of the cast of the Res Sisters. That's right. So, I'm your host, Lisa Maria Squega. And I'm Richard Ogama. Of NicheTV.com. It's part of our culture. Uh, we embrace long hair. Do you find any challenges with having long hair? Okay, so do you know what you get when you bring a group of Aboriginal actors together all in one place? <laughs> if you were thinking a wild and crazy party, well, you could be right. But what I was thinking is this theater production called The Red Sisters. Well, if you didn't have a chance to make it to The Red Sisters play at the Magnus Theater, well, then Nish TV brings it home to you. Uh, my name is Patty Shaughnessy and I come from Curve Lake First Nation and um, I play uh, Maria Del Star Blanket uh, in Thompson Highways, The Rest Sisters. My name is Jonathan Fisher, I'm from the Wekwemekong Unceded Indian Reserve on Manitoulin Island and I play Nana Bush as the Seagull, the Nighthawk and the Bingo Master. My name is Mario Prudo and I'm the Artistic Director at Magnus Theatre here at Thunder Bay and I direct the Press Sisters. Hi, I'm Ellen Monet. I'm the Director of Theatre Magnus Theatre in Thunder Bay puts on a play every year, showcasing Indigenous talent. The Res Sisters by Thompson Highway is a play that focuses on seven women where the Nanabaju is male. You can look forward to the Res Sisters sequel, which is called Dry Lips, Gotta Move to Capus Casing, and originally called The Res Brothers. Um, uh, working on Thompson Highway's play, um, Firstly, I'd like to say that it, it is a piece of music and it's an excellent piece of writing and I think as an actor this is the uh, maybe fifth show, professional show that I've done um, and it truly is a Canadian classic. First time doing this production, I've done uh, the, the sequel to the Red Sisters which is called Dry Left Sada Move to Capiscation which has seven men in it, and the Nana Bush is played by a woman. But uh, for doing the Red Sisters, it's been, it's been great because it had its creation 22 years ago with the uh, Debaj Music Theatre, which is located on my reserve in Wikwemekong on Manitoulin Island. And so it's, it's just been an honour to actually finally do this production. Therefore, I, it was, I think it was three years ago that we consciously decided that of the six plays that we produce on the, the main stage, that one of the six would be each, each year one of the six would be a play by um, a playwright of Aboriginal origin. And of course, uh, to, to have the Rest Sisters is, uh, uh, the word honour has come up and it certainly is an honour for the theatre to be presenting this play. Mario, uh Pick me to play the really complicated uh, character of Veronique St. Pierre. <laughs> and um, I love it. I mean, it's just the most uh, interesting character I've ever had to do. She's a do gooder, she's a Christian, she's, you know, got a bit of an attitude. <laughs> Did you know that three of the actors from the Red Sisters by Thompson Highway studied at the Centre of Indigenous Theatre in Toronto? Magnus Theatre featured some local artists and displayed some of their work in the lounge while the Res Sisters was being played.
Okay, so you know you're Aboriginal when you gotta use a bucket instead of a toilet. What do you think? <laughs> okay, so maybe I'll know a comedian like Don Burns. And he was this year's host for the Aboriginal Country Music Talent Show. just saw the nine contestants that were involved in this year's talent show. And let's take a look at the top three winners. So the third winner. The third winner is Lisa Marie Esquega. Okay, the third, I mean the second, the second winner is Waylon Guyon. You find me to the top, the second top. Here's to you, Waylon. Thank you. Okay, the number one singer for the night. Ron Kanitsky. Ron Kanitsky. And his gang. Oh my god! Here's to you. Good luck. Okay. Well, hi, I just, um, just getting off the stage. I just sang my uh, third song. I ended up uh, taking the third prize for the Aboriginal Country Talent Show. Uh, Aboriginal Country Music at its best. For me, it was really, really big. It, it was really surprising. Uh, I, I had given up music. For 22 years and I just dusted off the guitar and here we go so I I don't know maybe it's opened a new door for me I'm not sure and another thing I, I a point that I heard that you played air guitar do you think that might have contributed to some of your uh, skills out there I'm not sure uh, I I think it, it got me interested in music I definitely have to say that uh, rock band and uh, guitar hero has got me back into singing oh and check out who's hanging out with Ron members of Shadow Creek and you know, it was mostly with my drum group Shadow Creek, and um, tonight was pretty different with the other ones. Um, you know, I performed with Ron Kanuxki tonight. But the show wouldn't be a show without Don Bernstein. No, I'm here to support this. My second year here, I think it was awesome. It was a lot of fun. I really support native uh, native acts, native talent, and we have so many out there undiscovered. So that's why I'm here to help out. And what's it like to be part of the show? It was fun. You know, it, it's a lot of energy to burn. I, usually I do uh, one hour of straight comedy, and then I then I'm done. This was like a five-hour thing of non-stop. You know, so it, it, it's a different type of energy, but it was fun. Good crowd, lots of good people, good music. It was fun. Does hot chocolate sound good to you right now? And maybe add a little ho ho ho. Yeah, can we all give a little ho 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 right now? Because we're gonna need your support at this weekend, November 15th. We're gonna be at the DFC students at the Santa Claus Parade. Make sure you come and check us out and drop off and say hi. If you see us in the crowds, Niche TV's coming at ya.